Hello, I'm Luke Hatfield. I'm joined by Tim Spears here at the Express and Star Wolves correspondent. Tim, one man we have not seen in a Wolves shirt for a long, long time, but has featured now for the under-23s a couple of times, Phila Fosuaye. Could he be back in first-team contention soon? I mean, we've never seen him in a Wolves shirt, Luke. Mm. I will counter. Uh, except for, yeah, recently in the under-23 team. Yeah. He's... Um, you know, uh, well, we'll sign 12 players last summer and, he, and he's the only one who hasn't featured yet and that's mm -hmm. been the case for a while. He had this debilitating ankle injury at the start of the season and there's been a concern all along really, what if Matt Doherty gets injured, what's going to mm -hmm. happen? He will be the natural replacement, a, a pacey right back, big, strong by all, by all accounts and um, and people look forward to seeing him in the Championship, it just hasn't happened. He's, mm -hmm. he's had a debilitating injury, Nuno was questioning a couple months ago whether he'd ever play for the club and you know might be released or whatever, but anyway, fair play, mm -hmm. he's back. Uh, and he's played three times for the 23s now and made his first start yesterday yeah. uh, at Molyneux in a 3 0 defeat to uh, Blackburn and played 67 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, he got 23 the week earlier against Exeter and half an hour against Fulham as well. So it kind of opens up this um, unusual possibility now. Like Silvio did at the end of last season when he got a couple of appearances when there was nothing to play for, yeah. of if Wolves can wrap up promotion quick sharpish, mm -hmm. as of course everybody hopes they do, then maybe maybe Phil Fosway could could feature, yeah. um, because Wolves could, Wolves could be promoted next Tuesday uh, <laughs> in a perfect scenario. Yeah. It <laughs> literally could happen. Anything uh, can happen, Tim. Yeah, yeah, seen before. absolutely. And then, and then, it, if that's the, that's the perfect dream scenario, and if that happens, they've got six games left after that mm -hmm. to wrap up the title. So, anyway, I'm make, trying to make the point that there could be some spare games at the end of the season here. Mm -hmm. And if Philip Fossaway continues to play for the 23s and continues to be injury free, then yeah, we could we could see him make a, a shock appearance. Can we see this with other players as well? The likes of Jordan Graham haven't really featured. I mean, does Nuno think if if we get this all wrapped up, that I can just throw them out as well? Possibly. I'd say I'd say Jordan Graham doesn't look like he's got much of a future at Wolves to me at the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, he's brought back from Fulham in January and just hasn't hasn't even been on the squad yet. I, I, I don't think. I don't think he's even been on the bench. Mm -hmm. So perhaps we're more for the likes of Rafa Mir, yeah. young striker who Wolves hope is one for the future. Uh, Morgan Gibbs White, I'm sure, would get a couple of starts in that scenario as well. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of youngsters in the under 23s that we look at. Pedro Gonçalves as well, young Portuguese Neves type midfielder who's mm -hmm. done very well this season. Um, but I tell you what, if they keep playing like they did yesterday, uh, there won't be many kids playing because <laughs> Scott Sellers has absolutely torn into the under 23s today. Mm. Basically, what's happened is they've got two matches in two days. Yeah. One's been played this afternoon against Romania under 21s. Okay. Who, of course, were at Molyneux on Saturday to play England. Mm -hmm. So that's a great occasion for uh, the under 23s to get some experience. So, but they also had this game against Black. At Molyneux on Monday. Yeah. So Scott Sellers has uh, rightly, in my opinion, decided to keep his best team for the Romania game mm -hmm. um, because that will be the best experience against yeah. international opposition. So he's played a lot of kids and Phil mm -hmm. against Blackburn. They've been hammered 3-0 and Sellers is absolutely torn into them. I didn't see a Wolves team, he said. I didn't see hard work, intensity or passion to play for the shirt. Mm. It was a poor performance. Uh, he's praised some of the younger players. He has played a number of young teenagers in this team. But he says the senior boys didn't enjoy the challenge and weren't brave enough. Now, Phil Fosway is the most senior white man by far in this team. So mm. if that's a guided dig at him, that doesn't say very much for his performance yesterday. Mm. But anyway, they'll certainly have to book their ideas up. But yeah, no, I, I think you're right. In this in this dream scenario, Wolves uh, uh, clinch and promotion early. Yeah. Then there are a number of, of young, promising talents in the under twenty three setup that I'm sure Nuno would uh, would take a look at. Yeah. So Scott Sellers not pulling any punches there, is he? Does is this the right way to go about treating the youngsters, or is it one to give them a bit of a kick up the backside? Well, I think uh, the, the point that he made was a lot of a lot of the guys in this particular team that played against Blackburn have, have been told that they've been released. Mm. And there's a lot of players going to be released from Wolves. This huge under twenty three set up this summer. We, there yeah. are so many out on loan that have never even played for Wolves. They're a bit of a Chelsea of the Championship in that regard. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know we don't know the retained list yet, but I'm sure that that will come out in the coming weeks. But yeah. he says a number of those have been told. They're not going to play forwards anymore. There mm. were plenty of scouts at the game yesterday, and they, these players just haven't turned up at all. So he's very outspoken, actually. Scott uh, speaks often about the uh, the fruitlessness of the of the under twenty three setup in terms of the league, and it's not competitive and it's not conducive to developing young players. Very outspoken about things like that. So mm. uh, I think I think I think it's great that he's still around because a lot of Wolves' backroom staff uh, left last summer. 
when there was all these changes, like to Rob Edwards, Pat Mount and Tony Daly, but I'm glad Scott's still there. By all accounts, he's an excellent coach at that level and Wolves are very lucky to have him. Yeah, so Scott has uh, given some hard truths, it seems, to Wolves as youngsters, but also Phil Afosu A looks like he could be on the comeback, tra comeback trail. For all the latest, make sure you stay with us at expressandstar.com.